Hey guys, Kevin here with your KevCam tip of the day. So today I want to show you guys is the extruded boundary stock that is inside SolidCam. Now what this will do is it will do a um, extrusion around a chain that you specify in the Z direction. Um, so what we'll do first is we'll throw a chain around here. And a lot of the confusion gets in here as, well, how do I add more stock on the bottom to clamp onto or whatnot? Um, that is all based off of your upper level and your lower level of your coordinate system. So I'll uh, show you guys. So we just chain the, the lower perimeter right here. We'll hit the green check mark. And we'll just hop out of here for a second. Now, if we go and do a show 3D, you can see it shows that perimeter. But let, like I said, let's say I want to go, um, that extruded stock is going to be much deeper, so I have something to clamp onto. So right now, that extruded stock is stock is based off of your coordinate uh, levels. So what I mean by that is if we go into your coordinate system manager and we do edit. Now let's say I want quite a bit of stock to hang on to. And so right now we're at minus 1.5 inches. Let's make this something big so we can really see what's going on here. So we can do a minus 10 inches. So I'll hit the green check mark. And what it's going to be doing here is it's going to be updating the stock. And as soon as our uh, wheel stops spinning here. Now, if we do a show 3D, you'll see our stock is much longer in length. So this is a great way to come in here and use the extruded boundary and how to manage that, the height of that stock and the depth of that stock as well. So if you guys want to um, use that extruded boundary, definitely um, check it out and uh, should make things easier for you guys. So I just want to show you guys that for the tip of the day today. And uh, tomorrow I won't be here, so there will be no tip of the day for Friday, but we will talk to you guys on Monday. Thanks, guys. Have a great evening.